forget to hit the record button this time. There we go. Hello to YouTube and all that good stuff. Let's get right into it, shall we? Start a new game. Let's go, dude. I'm excited, man. Honest, Honestly, I'm just excited in general. But I'm also excited to figure out where the hell I was at before. <laughs> to try to remember. I know, like... Because there's, like, the dungeon things or whatever, right? Because, like, aren't you taking the the priestess lady around to different locations? I know I've been to at least a couple of those locations before. And, like, I don't know how far it is in the game, but that famous laughing scene, I'm pretty sure I've actually seen that, like, in-game before, not just the, the memes of it. So, like, there's that. But I can't remember how far I've actually made it through the game. Turn it up a little bit. Every game has like its own volume level that it needs. It's kind of annoying. Laugh cutscene is fairly early. I mean, I figured, like I said, my best guess is probably like 10 to 15 hours into the game, but I don't remember honestly like because it was a long time ago i was a teenager of uh, probably mid teenager so like 15 ish years ago give or take a year since i've really played the game other than like booting it up on the remaster and shit just for shits and gigs I did consider doing the remaster version for this, but, I mean, I don't know. We got a whole PS2 theme going. Figured we might as well Listen do to PS2. My story. This may be our last chance. Hey. Final Fantasy X, dude. They really want you to know it's Final Fantasy X. <laughs> they got got to hold on that screen long enough. And uh, warning ahead of time, I never have been any good in any way with Blitzball. <laughs> so <laughs> be prepared for a shit show or two whenever we get to any Blitzball sections, man. <laughs> it's never been good. It's always been bad. That's good, because we're going to need it. <laughs> Look at that compressed JPEG of a night sky, dude. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Probably don't have, like, yeah, no settings or anything yet we can mess with. Uh, talk to the kids. Can you sign up? No prop. We are Titus, Titus, however you want to pronounce it. I don't know what the yes. canon one is. I can't Alrighty. remember. Me too. Take it easy. There's a good bit of extra content in the remaster, but I think I could talk you into full completing this one. <laughs> We'll see. Can we'll see. <laughs> of course. Good luck tonight. Nothing to worry about. Oh, if I score a goal, I'll uh, do this. That will mean it was for you, okay? <laughs> what seat? East block in the front row. This from the right. Got it. Well, gotta go. Cheer for me. Two, three. She just had a blitz. 
Hey, I, I got a game to play. Then teach us after. Honestly, Maybe though, like, for tonight, the time, uh, it's not that bad. You can't tonight. I mean, tomorrow. Creepy kid. Promise? Promise. Like, everybody always uses the laughing scene as, like, an example of terrible voice acting and shit like that. But honestly, like, from what I remember, it was meant to be a forced laughter, right? So, like, the fact that it sounded like a fake voice laugh was actually perfect. Yeah, <laughs> so, like, it wasn't actually that bad, man. I mean, you gotta remember, this came out in what, like, 2003? Four? FFX... Release date. 2001, holy shit. Okay, <laughs> a couple years earlier than I was thinking. 2001. That's not that long after, like, Resident Evil, man. You want to talk about some shit voice acting, like, oof. Our hero, checked, gone, vanished into thin air. <laughs> My dad must have been his biggest fan. I knew how sad he'd be. Heck, we all were that day. Zanara says to myself, what are you thinking? I went running straight back home. We sat up talking about Jack all night. My dad and I never talked so much. Whoa. Didn't mean to reminisce, folks. Anyway, what's up, Nate? Later, the Welcome, Jack man. Memorial Cup tournament is today. The two teams that have won through to the finals are, of course, the Abes from A East and the Duggles from C South. I know there's a lot of people out there today to see the star of the Abes. In just one year, he's become the team's number one player. He's Jack's blood and the new hope of Blitzball. What kind of super play will he show us today? What do we see Doobles? his father's Doug legendary Doug shot? I don't think I'm the only one excited here, folks. Jack 2, beautiful Joe. All good options. I think. Well, Jack 2's a little iffy, but... <laughs> but <laughs> beautiful Joe seems cool, though, from what I've seen of it. Shit, where am I even? Oh, there I am. Okay. <laughs> I was playing like Where's Waldo there for a moment, man. Trying to figure out where the hell we were. Other than the graininess, though, the cutscenes, man. Beautiful. Anybody else back in the day see uh, Ramstein, Ram, Ramstein, Ramstein, however the hell you actually pronounce it, credited with making this song? I feel like that was all over the internet back in the day, dude. It's not. I forget the band that actually makes this song, but <laughs> I remember seeing a lot of uh, stuff on the internet, like YouTube videos with this song put up and stuff like that, crediting them with it. Wild times, man. Early days of the internet. You never really know who sang anything. You just kind of... <laughs> you just found a file someday that would say name of band dash song. And so you just agreed. You just accepted. Obviously, that was who wrote the song, man. That's who, who performed it. Wildly wrong or not, how are you supposed to know? <laughs> This all seems fine. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, I've never had that one happen. Holy hell, dude. <laughs> That's a turn of events there.
all the advanced technology of this civilization, they couldn't see a little wave coming through. <laughs> Trying to figure out what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, I don't think there's anything to care about back here. Nope. I was looking up the uh, the differences between the remaster and the original here whenever I was trying to decide which one to play. And I did see there's a uh, video apparently that connects Final Fantasy X and X-2. Like, that's pretty cool, but... Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think I've ever used those before. Not that I ever used LimeWire either, of course. Totally. Never. <laughs> what is LimeWire again? Or FrostWire? Or any of the other wires? <laughs> never, never heard of them. Again, this all seems perfectly fine. Why does he not question the creepy little kid, dude? What the? Huh? It's the second time the creepy little kid just shown up out of nowhere, hey, said something wait. to him, and not once has he been like, who the hell are you, kid? Is that him? Is that baby him? Hey, not this way. Never realized how baby faced he was either until literally this moment. We called it Sin. Sin? That's some alien shit right there, bro. <laughs> yeah, that'll show him, dude. <laughs> A gift from Jack. My old man? It's like, I know, I know some spoilers for the game that I've seen over the years. And, like, I'm questioning things, but I don't want to spoil it for anyone else either. But, like, I don't know. I'm just going to have to play through the game to figure it out. Honestly, that's that's all we're going to have to do. I'm just going to have to, I'm just going to have to wait and deal. <laughs> I'm very curious about things. But only time's going to tell. The last true turn-based Final Fantasy game, man. I really wish one of these days they would uh, go back and make another one, but it's unlikely to ever happen, especially now with, like, Bravely Default and things like that. Filling in for the, uh, the turn-based space. What's the other one? Triangle Strategy, Bravely Default. There's another one worlds <laughs> that's not a main line though that's definitely spin-off <laughs> i do want to play worlds at some point though like don't get me wrong i am interested in it i just uh yeah i don't know time is always an issue and worlds has never exactly been at the top of the list I still need to refinish Final Fantasy XV so I can properly enjoy all of the DLC for it. Get 
Because I have beat 15. But I've never gone through and did all of the optional stuff or uh, DLC. When a character's overdrive gauge beneath this is full, character may use a special unique attack using overdrive. Cool. Everything. Fuck them all up, dude. Uh. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. I half expected myself to screw up. I'm not going to lie. Isn't there... Is it not this one? Isn't there like a chain or something we should be attacking instead? Or is that... Maybe that's like the next fight. Or maybe you can't attack it until they point it out. It doesn't seem like there's anything else we can attack, so... Okay. So is Demi max HP in this game or current HP? It looks like max. Guess this will tell. Yeah, okay, it's dropping every time. So we don't need to worry too much until he suddenly turns and starts doing regular attacks. <laughs> then we might need to worry. There we go, dude. It looks like he's about dead anyways. Yeah. We're Gucci. Get wrecked, dude. Place that big building there with a Mako reactor, and you basically have Midgar, dude. Save Sphere. Awesome. We will make use of that. Not trying to die. I'm fairly certain there's no checkpoints in this game. Do any of the mainline Final right, Fantasy games have checkpoints? I'm trying to think if 15 did. Huh? Give me a break, man. I know nothing up to... I know 12 didn't either. 15 had camps. Oh, that's right. Okay. What about 13? 13 had game over screens, didn't it? So I guess 15 would have been the first one then that more or less had checkpoints. I wonder how 16 is going to be, man. I am uh, I remember an article I was reading, I think yesterday, maybe the day before, where apparently Square is not, or is worried about the, the pre-order numbers for 16. Uh, they're not meeting their expectations, apparently. I don't know what their expectations were, but <laughs> compared to Final Fantasy 15, apparently they're much lower and they're in a bit of a panic over it is what I was reading. But like 15, man, had so much hype build up around it because of it being in development for basically ever. Um, it was for PlayStation 4, which had a larger install base than PlayStation 5 does currently. Like, there was just a lot of things going for it. And I feel like a lot of people are a little iffy about Final Fantasy 16 to begin with. I know I am. Like, I'm going to pick it up. 100%. There's no doubt in my mind I'm going to end up getting it. But, um, I'm a little... Like, I'm going to wait for the game to come out, or at least the demo to come out. Because it's like... I'm a little... Exactly, yeah. A little too DMC cross... Final Fantasy 14, honestly. Like, it's very... It, when I first saw the cutscene, like, the the, uh, the reveal cutscene for it, I legit thought it was, like, a new expansion for Final Fantasy 14. Like, it looks very 14. Um, and while I enjoy 14, I play MMOs and 
Final Fantasy for different reasons. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not looking for Go. another 14, I guess is what I'm saying. I don't know. I can't really wrap my head around what I'm trying to say exactly. But, like, <laughs> I'm just worried whether the guy that made 14 can make a solid single player experience, I guess is what I'm trying to say. talking to bro this is it this is your story it all begins here it's getting sucked into a black hole dude like <laughs> that's a Spaghettification at its finest, man. Such a weird intro to a game. So many fucking questions, dude. Hey. Like, hey, hello. My old man. Go down. We shall. Hello, can we talk to you? I thought about a lot of things. Like where I was, what I got myself into. Oh wait, no, there's baby us, right? Lightheaded. That looks kinda like and baby us. Sleepy. Same. I think I had a dream. A dream of being alone. I wanted someone, anyone beside me. So I didn't have to feel alone anymore. Did you get your wish? Nope. Still looking pretty alone, my guy. <laughs> Oh, never mind. You got a bird. <laughs> you get to keep Anybody you company. There? Hey! Yeah, dude. I don't think anybody's going to hear you screaming out here. Now, I think there's a chest or two we should be driving. Oh, and we got access to here. Okay. Anything we need to change. Memory is nice. Uh, default for now. Vibration, might as well have on. Why wouldn't you? It's always weird to me all the games that have vibration turned off by default. So we start with ten potions, three phoenix down. Okay. Because, like... Why wouldn't you want vibrations on? I... I can't think of a single reason, honestly. Like, it's not... that big of a deal whether a game has vibrations or not, in my opinion. But, like, it's not detrimental to have it on, either. So why default with it off? It would make more sense to me to default with it on and then just have people turn it off if they don't like it and like with the ps2 it even came standard with with dualshock controllers so like why not support it i don't i don't know man it's just weird to me find out bed primers to help you decipher the strange out bed language scan memory cards okay uh there's no point i don't have any yeah 
I have nothing. <laughs> Fresh save. Potion times two. Now you can, like, online, there are tools you can use. Because it's just a simple cipher style thing where, like, each letter... If I pull it up one more time here and not click through it so fast. Oh, never mind. I guess we can't see it. Anyways, uh, each letter just corresponds with, like, another letter. So you can find tools and guides online on how to translate the text into the game to the other one. Um, in fact, I know a guy that made a tool on GitHub specifically for that. A simple, I think it's JavaScript script that he wrote to translate between the two. Ooh, what are you... Ah, perfect. Yeah, like that. <laughs> so, like, E would stand for A or something. H would stand for T, etc., etc. Throughout the whole thing. And it's always the same, so. And there you go. In that case, we know what that word is. The one all written in red, right? What do we have here? Nope. Can't read it. Which, wait, isn't that the place you were talking about earlier, Chocobo? McLeania? However the hell you pronounce that? Where you think I may have gotten to before? Oh, wait, can we dive? Hey, we can. Is that this place? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hell, we got farther than this place whenever we did it for the uh, PS2 gauntlet. Baj? So spoopy, can we fall off? No, okay. I didn't think we could. Most Final Fantasy games don't have cliffs you can jump off of, or at least older ones. Newer ones, of course, can, but that's because they're more action oriented. Oh, that's a statue. Hello. And that's a fish. <laughs> okay. Oh. Weird fish, dude. It's like a fish, a fish, dude. <laughs> I didn't realize the Zora were in this game, man. First solo enemies of the game. I don't think we're gonna have too much trouble. Is there active time battle? That doesn't seem to be, huh? Weapons, armor. And then items. Okay. Yeah, just regular turn base, it looks like. Surprised after... The, uh... Success of, like, Final Fantasy VII and whatnot, that they... They went with, like, a standard turn order and not ATB. Of course, maybe with the the failure of 9, which is too bad, because 9 looks really good, man. I haven't played 9 before. Like, not much. I've probably booted it up at some point, but besides that, I haven't really played it. But that one's always looked really good to me. Whereas Final Fantasy VIII, I've always been iffy on. I have finished 8, but 
even now that I finished it, I'm still pretty iffy on it. It's just, it's okay. I don't, it's a game. It's not bad. It just has some weird ass systems in it. And I think nine uses some sort of ATB like system, like seven and eight. Hey, Noodle, welcome, love. Try not to die to the first giant fish creature. Whoa. He's gonna get you, dude. <laughs> So fucked. So lucky. So lucky. Can't stay for long. You're just sitting down because you're hot. Yeah, you are. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, love. <laughs> I feel it, though. My workplace has been pretty warm lately, too. Although, at least it's nicer out today. So hopefully it won't get too hot in the store for you. I had made it out of the frying pan and into the freezer. I thought I was going to die in this place. Today would have been a perfect day for me to mow my lawn. And that was the plan. That's That was my entire plan today. Get up, get some food with Noodle, take her to work, mow my lawn, get a shower, start the stream. And then I do, I get up, Noodle and I go get food, I take her to work, I make it home a little bit later than I wanted to because of some road construction and shit like that. And uh, go to plug my car in because the battery's pretty low. And my house fucking sucks, dude. <laughs> like, I rent this place. And the electrical in this place is terrible. The outlet that I always use to plug the car into, like, it's the closest one to my parking spot. Um, the grounding for it has been going out, apparently. Uh, because, like, I would get a charging error every once in a while. But, like, fiddle with it a little bit, and I always got it to work before. So I never worry too much about it. But then today... It started airing out even earlier in the process. Like, it used to flash the second light on the charge box. Now it's just flashing the first one over and over again. So I double check, like, hey, what the hell does this mean? And everybody's like, same thing. It means that there's no grounding in the plug you're plugging it into. I'm like, well, that's just fucking great. So I do my usual fiddling around with it to see if I can get it to work. Nothing works. So I'm like, well, shit, I hope the charger didn't go out or something like that. That would fucking suck. So I grab an extension cord and plug it in to the next closest plug that I have, right? Same fucking thing. And I'm like, well, this looks bad. But I uh, look around. I find another three-prong plug. I plug into that, and it boots up instantly. Works right away. And I'm like, okay, so at least it's not the fucking charger. It's just the plug. But that's still annoy as annoying as hell, dude, because like, <laughs> I don't have any other close plugs. And it uses... I think it's 12 amps the charger uses. So like you really shouldn't have it plugged into an extension cord. Thankfully, I figured out that's not the way we came in, is it? Thankfully, I figured out a way I can get it plugged in. Yeah, this is the way we came. Um without an extension cord. So like it's working now, but it's just fucking annoying, dude. Why <laughs> why does everything have to be shit? And, like, our dishwasher, which is where I have it plugged in now, is where our dishwasher fucking plugs in. Dumb. Uh, anyways, it, I don't think, is grounded all that great either, to be completely honest. Because if you touch the dishwasher <laughs> the wrong way, you're liable to get a decent zap. So, like, I don't think it's perfect either. But it's good enough that it's letting it charge. So I'm just, I'm just done dealing with it. Plugged it in there. Called it a day. We got flint. Can we just use... Oh, no. This wood's wet, isn't it? Yeah. Some kind of flammable tinder. Okay. Well, there's only one other direction for us to go. Which I believe is up the stairs. Swap out the cubby and all of the rugs at the front of the store. And you had to pull all three rugs out to sweep them. 
Are you guys getting like an expect inspection soon or something? Or were you just cleaning because you wanted it to be clean? With their bouquet. That should be some pretty decent tinder. Is there anything else up here though? Hey. Hi, potion. I mean, okay, well. <laughs> I'm one of those people that are terrible at using healing items, restorative items in games. There's a decent chance we'll have these potions until basically the end of the game, but we'll take it anyways. Hell, if we get too many of them, maybe we can sell a couple of them for a bit of extra gill. You are bored and just did it. You decided you'll do one good deed for my manager once a week. <laughs> well, that's nice of you. <laughs> Somebody pour gasoline on that fire, dude. Why did it flare up so large? You should go back outside. Collect the remains of one of those fish people you fought, dude. Sure, they taste pretty, pretty decent. Once you roast them up on the fire. Maybe this is salt water. You can collect a, or like brine it. Would you need to brine saltwater fish? I guess you probably would, right? Because, like, they're not salty. They have some sort of way of filtering out the salt or something in the salt water, right? It was a bad call. Your team lost because of you. You came to say that? It's been ten years. I thought you'd be crying. Who? Me? You cried. There's Creepy Kid again. Okay, so maybe we've been dealing with Creepy Kid our entire life, and that's why we just don't question it anymore. I don't understand how we're more cold in here than we were in the water outside. Wouldn't the water be colder than the building? Give me a break. Dude, how do you get swords for legs? Can I get in on that action somehow? RPGs where you only have one party member. I just <laughs> always found kind of funny. Um, like the original Dragon Quest, for instance. I really enjoyed that game, don't get me wrong. But having one party member for the entire thing is just so funny. Because, like, it boils it down to very little strategy. Because you basically just, you know, for 90% of encounters, you're just mashing attack. And then once your health gets low, heal, and then repeat. Which, I mean, to be fair, I guess it's kind of the same whenever you have multiple party members. But at least there's a little more to manage. Like, the health of three different people, or uh, you know, magic versus regular attacks, or abilities, or whatever the case may be. Now, this obviously isn't a single-player single player RPG. Single-player? Single-party <laughs> character? I don't know. I can't, like I said, brain doesn't work, man. I was <laughs> very close to falling asleep before the stream. And, uh, honestly, a nap probably could have been used. Let's not waste the grenades. Or should we? How much health do they have? We probably can't see that, can we? No. Screw it. Use, use the grenade. Uh, can we steal grenades from you by any chance? We can. Nice. It's 
very handy that this creature is not only pretty weak to grenades, but also just made of them, apparently. Hey, level up. We got two ability spheres. Did I tell you what she said she thought my reasoning for calling off the other day was? No, you did not, love. To you too. <laughs> that was close. Hey, let me go. I am not a fiend. I'm a dude. I'm a dude like you. She thought you had a job interview somewhere else and was going to quit and not tell anyone? Nice. Ow. <laughs> just to screw with her, you should tell her, like, just text her in a couple days. And, uh, I don't know, tell her you got a new job or something. Or the next time you work with her, just tell her that'll be your last day. Let her think you're quitting all day. And then right before you leave, tell her, haha, JK. <laughs> Hey, I'll be back tomorrow. I assured her I wouldn't do that to her, and I would give her plenty of notice. Well, I didn't know you did all that, but why not? <laughs> Rude, dude. Hey, that hurts. Sujek, rain. Whoa. Okay. Hey, nurse. Right. Whatever. Do we hood kebeg? I said I don't understand. Okay, it's pretty obvious what he wants you to do, my guy. You said you can stay if you make yourself useful. You, you understand me? All right, I'll work. Oh, almost forgot. What? Using the Sphere Grid. The Sphere Grid is used to develop your characters by activating nodes with spheres. Let's see how this is done. Select Sphere Grid from the main menu. The cursor appears. Use to move. Select your things. Get your upgrades. Learn abilities. Using nodes. Character must be on or adjacent to ones before you can accept it. If you select move, you can move. Number of steps character can move is equivalent to the Sphere level. Okay. Sphere levels are gained by getting ability points, which are attained by participating in battle. Character must fight battles to gain AP and raise sphere levels in order to move around the grid. And short, if the character does not participate in battles, he will not grow a stronger fare. In this case, title has four, title. Titus has four sphere levels, so he can move up to four steps. In general, you should be careful not to rush, or you may forget to activate nodes. So let's take one step and learn the ability cheer. Note that you only have to be next to a node in order to activate it. Once you select a destination. You automatically something, character something, you confirm, you do the thing. Okay. Okay. Now select use. I can't actually do any of this. It's doing it all for me. <laughs> I know this is the sphere grid was one of the huge changes in the remaster too, right? Because like the, I had the advanced sphere grid or whatever they called it. A much more free flowing one. So you could customize your characters a lot more. Something along those lines. Power spheres, magic spheres, and speed spheres are needed to improve each corresponding attribute. Also, every node on the grid can be activated separately by each character. That means that a character can reactivate a node already used by another character by moving to it and using the corresponding sphere. Note that locks cannot be opened at present. Another tutorial will become available once you're able to open them. Now that you know how to upgrade a character, let's look at the other useful features. The character's current status can be displayed by pressing triangle. I'm assuming you just keep pressing triangle to cycle through them all. 
Use this information to plan how you want to upgrade your character. L1 and R1 switches between characters. Useful when you wish to compare the character stats or when you want to quickly upgrade multiple. Press select to zoom in and out. It's a big ass grid. Got it. Includes your sphere grid tutorial. Try improving Titus now. Okay, so we go to sphere grid, Titus. Ah, oh, wait. It didn't actually do any of that? Wait, didn't we have a sphere level of four, though? I'm confused. Okay, move to there. Proceed. Use. Okay. Level one lock is blocked. Okay, so we can't do anything with that. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay. Maybe it just showed we had level four because an S level four because that's what the tutorial was programmed to show or something. I guess that would make sense actually. Uh, what? R? Nope. No idea what he's saying. No idea what any of them are saying. Hey, potion times three. Well, thank you. And this looks like something on the ground. Can we pick that up? A hey, primer. Let's go. Y means A. We've achieved achieved a rank of I'll bed something another. So what are you saying? Yep. Turns out uh, he's probably asking like, are you ready to go or something like that? I imagine it's something along those lines. We'll just say yeah and <laughs> see what happens. They're like, aha! What's this? Some kind of crane? Rahui, kad ya biyavonu strana? All right, all right. You don't have to shout. Hey, you get a, the hell away from that thing. <laughs> Guess this is what he was saying. All right. What do you... Yeah. Oh, wait. Hold on. Seriously? <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, I didn't realize he was asking if we wanted to redo the fucking tutorial. Can I, can I skip the tutorial? No. It does, once we're in it, we're stuck. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you for that, dude. Why would they put that on him? And not... That's such a fucking troll, dude. <laughs> a dude whose language we don't speak asks us if we want to redo the tutorial. Like... They could have given us a one-time pass, man. Just like in parentheses, uh, selecting yes will redo tutorial. <laughs> or do you do you need a, a refresher on how to use the sphere grid? Like, <laughs> god damn it! There's no way to skip. Thank you. All right, you then. Let's go. Ruins right beneath us. It's not active now, but there should still be some power left. We're gonna go down there and activate it. And then we should be able to salvage the big prize. Uh -huh. Okay, let's get to work. Roger. And what is this big prize? Like, what exactly are you sending me down to look for, my guys? I feel like this is important info that you're you're not giving me here. Touch my puzzle. Guess I should probably go do something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably. My brain is so dead, dude.
Can we... I think we can steal something useful from them. Is it more grenades? Yeah. And I'm assuming each one can only be stolen from once. Oh, wait. It's a school? I didn't realize it was a school then. Well, there's only one way to find out. Oh, no. Okay. We can steal as many times as we want. Perfect. Let's just let her... Well, they're dead, so never mind. I was going to say, let's just let her build up some grenades then. Because that'll be useful. But, nope. Game had other ideas. Sadly, even though we just played this a handful of mo months ago, I don't remember exactly what's going to happen. But I think there might be a boss here somewhere at some point. You can steal multiple times with the chance drops after every success. That's a pretty new, a pretty new, huh? <laughs> pretty cool mechanic, actually. I like that. That's nice. It makes it a hell of a lot easier if you're going for, like, what I did in Final Fantasy VII. Uh, the harder version, I guess, actually, of what I did in Final Fantasy VII, because I I did the version where you max out every character's stats and level and whatnot, all of the main characters, but. I did see a rule set for true 100% completion, where you also got like 99 of every item and all of that. And uh, yeah, fuck all that, dude. <laughs> that would take forever. I mean, there's like item duplication and shit, but yeah, no. But collecting all of the items, I can't remember what they're actually called, but the ones that give you permanent strength or speed or whatever upgrades um would have been really handy if i could just steal from the same dude over and over again hey your new book uh shipped that's good love couldn't even remember what the hell <laughs> that book was called my god guys i i don't think i'm okay <laughs> <I> think... <laughs> holy shit i don't know why i'm so fucking tired right now man like, I, I got more and better sleep last night than I do most days. Steal, steal, steal. I guess it's not as important in this one to have the memory thing. It's still kind of handy. But with active without active time battle being a thing, you don't need to, like, select your... What the hell you're doing as quickly as possible or anything. couple speed spheres uh wait a second we're going this way right you just beat on it man i mean <laughs> i guess it worked for the terminal to get us in here but Surprised Titus was so quick to jump back into the water after facing one of these kraken like monsters once already. You'd think he would have had enough of the water by now. I think six grenades would be enough. I don't even know if the grenades like move with us after this section. Trigger commands. Special commands become available in certain battles. Press left in the command menu to access them. Sword play. Oh, dude. So, like, should probably pretty much always be doing that then, right? Mix. Combine items for various effects. Very cool. Um. Oh, are you not out of range for... Go. Okay. Get wrecked, dude.
No, don't stand by. Just keep just keep throwing grenades at the guy. You gotta go. Bye, love. Uh, item, high potion, or. Special use grenade. Oh shit, I already forgot about sword play. <laughs> GG. That's a good job. I'm assuming Titus is still useless though. Shit, dude, maybe we didn't need more grenades. Or no? Hey, perfect amount of grenades. Let's go. Get wrecked, dickhead. More AP. Two more power spheres. One gill off. Got 665. It's garbage. Can we... Oh, we're already gone. I kind of wanted to try to run into the zappy zap. Just to <laughs> see what happened. I'm assuming it just wouldn't let us, but... I don't know. Would have been funny to watch him get zapped, I guess. <laughs> That's... It's, like, I don't see any way that could have ended well for us. But I wanted to try it anyways. So what was this underwater fortress for? Oh, hey. There's more people. Hello. Can we talk to you? No. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, shit. There's a bunch of them now. Okay. Guess they're down here to help, like, excavate whatever the big prize is. Looks like a giant wheel. Like a, a prototype type halo ring or something, man. That looks like almost a mouth. Is this is a giant mech. Is that what it is? Hey, hey, I helped out, didn't I? Not even allowed inside, dude. Gotta sleep out here in the elements tonight. Kind of rude. Oh, hungry. <laughs> Didn't even ask for like any utensils or anything. Pretend to be civilized. Hey. <laughs> Legit, I have a tro I have problems swallowing food. Sometimes my throat just decides it doesn't want to put food down. <laughs> it's honestly really annoying. It's usually like the biggest problem is with like uh, eggs, rice, um, 
french fries, like light fluffy things and stuff like that. It sucks ass. You've been to the hospital a few times? I've never had to go to the hospital for it, thankfully. But, uh, steak, if it's like dry or super chewy, then I've had trouble with steak, for sure. Like, <laughs> definitely. Um, the worst for me, man, is whenever, like, it goes up a little bit. Like, instead of down, it just gets stuck back there. Like, you can still breathe fine and everything like that. But it just gets stuck, and then it's uncomfortable, and it's just, it's a bad time, man. I hate it. We're out bed. Can't you tell? Wait, you're not an out bed hater, are you? I don't even know what an owl bed is, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what he said. I'm a blitzball player. Star player of the Xanarkin Abes. Did you hit your head or something? Once or twice, maybe. You guys hit me. Oh, right. Do you remember anything before that? I never realized how expressive they try to be in this game, right? So I told like, her everything there was to tell about Xanarchy. The dialogue is very slow there, and spaced apart. And Sin's attack. <laughs> with a lot and of like body language and facial shots and stuff like that to try to convey emotion. They came to mind. It makes then everything feel really slow. <laughs> like here. You know, it's just say something funny I mean that makes sense it is it is a Japanese game which you know like <laughs> some of that's gonna sneak in there they say your head gets funny when sin is near maybe you just had some kind of dream and at least so far like I don't know what the overall theme for the game was or if they had one but uh there's nothing so far to say they were going for like a English or medieval or anything like that kind of feel to the game like a lot of the other Final Fantasy games would have had. What do you mean a thousand years ago? Dun dun dun. I saw Sin attack Xanarkin. You're saying that happened a thousand years ago? No way. What happens when you go in a black hole, dude? The entire game is actually just uh, some sort of hallucination we're having while we're being spaghettified into a black hole. Something, something, time dilation, time travel from black hole. I don't know. There's probably a theory there somewhere. <laughs> You play Blitzball? Uh huh. You know, you should go to Luca. Someone might know who you are, or you might find someone you recognize. Luca? Ah. Uh. Huh. Okay, leave it to me. I'll get you to Luca. Promise. <laughs> You'd rather stay here? Uh uh. Okay, I'll go tell the others. Wait here. You didn't have oh. to be so quick to say you didn't want to stay thing. here, dude. <laughs> like... Don't tell anyone you're from Xanarchy, okay? Yevon says it's a holy place. You might upset someone. Seems oh. a little oh. bit rude, not gonna lie. <laughs> In his defense, I guess since he has been on the ship, he was partially starved, forced to sleep outside, forced to work without really I knowing what he was doing, some kind <laughs> hit of upon the head place? a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, right, I thought. Since when? Yevon? Sin? Luca? I thought Sin just took me to a faraway place that I could go back in a day or two. But a thousand years into the future? No way! Uh -uh. Whoa, whoa. It's 
One powerful ass kick, dude. Shake the whole ship. Oh, never mind. Snap, dude. <laughs> we got some shit luck, man. Well, <laughs> it was nice meeting you guys. Peace. I'm out of here. Yeah, sure. Why not? We'll save again. It's Destiny Island. Black hole and a turn in the same week. Beautiful, dude. <laughs> it wasn't the same week. It's been a thousand years. I think being in one freak event every thousand years is pretty fair. <laughs> Dude's a fucking dolphin, man. Can't convince me otherwise. Also, screw your ball. <laughs> like, good luck finding it now. Looks like a dock. There's gotta be something on the dock. Chest. Something. No camera control. And it's empty. Okay, well, <laughs> bruh, you can't blame me. That looked like the perfect place to put a, a chest of some sort. Maybe it's hiding behind the boat. Really? Nothing? Can't even collect some fish to eat? There we go. Antidote times two. Actually... I think there are some creatures around here that poison. So that's handy. That's good, actually. Right, let's go say hi to... Fuck, my brain don't work. To you want to try that move one more time? <laughs> like, bruh, come on. <laughs> it's a sentence. Just say it like a sentence. You know, amateur. Who you play for? The Xanarkin Aves. Bruh, what, <laughs> what did Riku just tell you? Can you say again? Uh, I meant, forget that. Uh, Dude's I not too bright. Too, uh, close to sin, and my head's all foggy, like. So uh, I don't know where this place is, or even where I came from. Sin's toxin got to you, but you're still alive. Praise be to Yemen. All right, back to practice. I'm Waka, coach Waka, and captain of, of the Besaid Orox, brother. <laughs> what? You hungry? Okay, back to the village. I'll get you something. Let's go. Is there any other stuff around here first? Is this just water or are there like little alcoves that we can explore over here? Yeah, dude.
the moon crest. Is that a... Equipment? How do I... Oh, there we go. Hmm, I guess not. But is the... What is that? A lot of speech is destroyed because they don't li didn't lip sync when they localized. Makes sense, but like... <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> <clears throat> Final Fantasy at the time was one of the largest franchises out there. They totally could have done it. Oh, it's a key item. Okay. That makes sense. And I'm assuming that's it. Yeah, minimap shows we can go that way, but it's not letting us go that way. Okay, back we go. Lead the way, Mr. Waka, sir. I felt like I could trust this Waka, so I just had to ask. Um, it's true Xanarkin was destroyed, right? A thousand years ago? So it's just a big pile of rubble now, isn't it? Long time ago, there were a whole lot of cities in Spira. Big cities with machina, machines to run them. People played all day and let the Machina do the work. And then, well, take a look. Sin came and destroyed the Machina cities. And Xanarkand along with them. Yeah, that was about a thousand years ago. Just like you said. If you ask me, sin's our punishment for letting things get out of hand. What gets me, though, is we gotta suffer because of what some goofballs did way back when. Of course, we must always repent for our sins. That's important. It's just that it's hard to keep at it sometimes, you know? It was just as Riku said. Waka and Riku couldn't both be lying. Why would they? <laughs> well, you from the Xanarkand Daves, that was a good one, huh? Hey, I'm not saying that team never existed, yeah? <laughs> but you gotta figure a team living in luxury like that be pretty soft, eh? I appreciated the fact that Waka was trying to cheer me up. But at that time, all I could think about was... Everything that happened to me. All this started with Sin. Maybe if I could find Sin one more time, I could go home. For now, I'd just live life until that time came. No more worrying about where or when I was. Sure, it was hard not to think of home, but I started to feel better already. A little better. Maybe. Or you get too close to sin, get sucked in again, and then you're sending another thousand years in the future. Like, bruh, think about it for a second. Does that, does that really seem like a good idea? I don't know, man. Hey, I, mean, I guess if you're way? already a thousand years in the future, why not another thousand? What's what's the harm? That, no, it's just a flower. <laughs> you know, you could have just said, <laughs> we need to jump. I'm sure we would have done it, man. <laughs> Instead of just knocking us into the water. Wait, how did they get to the beach from here? Did they just climb up the side of the, the hill there, the mountain? There must be another path around. Maybe he figured i jump out of the water like a dolphin. I might as well <laughs> spend some more time in it. Cheer, race party strength and defense. I don't think we need that for these guys. Dark attack. Okay. Oh, bruh, for real? Too easy. Anything hiding around the corner? No. I'm assuming not. 
I couldn't see anything and the camera wasn't showing anything, so. Probably empty. Well, that's rude. Oh, we can't do the... The left from here, okay. I finally remembered to try the power play thing. Maybe it doesn't work in water? Or maybe it's a situational thing? Or no, we would have been in water last time. Huh. Must be situational in some way. Ooh, there's a chest. More antidote, okay. It's definitely preparing us for something that's gonna poison us. Last time was a trigger command, same menu. Oh, okay. So, yeah, <laughs> situational. Makes sense. It just, it seemed like an ability, but I guess why would a ability have been in the, that menu anyways, and not just under, uh, attack or special or whatever? What is this? Oh, okay. Nothing we need to worry about, I guess. <laughs> it looked kind of like an anchor or something that was rusted, stuck in the water. Kind of surprised they didn't have Titus's weapon be the, the Blitzball. Considering that's kind of his whole thing. Blitzball jock dude. They probably just didn't want the main protagonist to throw balls around as a <laughs> as their main form of attack. Got a favor to ask you. you want me on your team? Blitz tournaments coming up. All the teams in Spira will be there. It's so huge, I'm sure someone there will recognize you. Then you can go back to your old team, right? It'll be fun. What do you say, huh? Come on, come on. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna find my old team there, my guy. Sure but sure, why not? <laughs> Might as well. Team is gonna rock, eh? I thought then that Blitzball and Sin were the only two things that Spira and Xanarkin had in common. I wasn't too far off either. This is where I was born. I started Blitz when I was five. I joined the Aurochs at 13, 10 years ago. 10 years, and we never won a game. Not but a single game? After last year's Holy tournament, shit. I quit. Time seemed right. And they still suck. <laughs> They're not going to be much better with me playing, I promise so, you. <laughs> after quitting, I got this new job, yeah? But every time my mind wandered, I thought about the game. Ten years without a single win will do that. Mm. My first match last year was my big chance. But something else was on my mind. I couldn't focus. Nice excuse. Hey, hey! So, you want to win the next tournament? Go out with a bang. So, what's our goal? I don't care how we do. As long as we play our best. If we give it our all, I can walk away happy. Uh, no, 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 no. If I say what's our goal, you say victory. When you play in a Blitzball tournament, you play to win. Victory? You're serious? 
Half the time it seems like they didn't even try to lip sync, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> his lips were still moving <laughs> between Victory and you serious, and they weren't saying anything. Ah, Playing to win, it. right? Crazy concept, dude. Guard. There are fiends on the road today. After surviving your run-in with Sin, it would be a shame if something happened now. Wait, how did they get all the way up here? Waka definitely took us the long way around, dude. Uzu and Gata, Crusaders. Huh? Oh wait. Cruise of what? Oh, they're they're like what? town guards. How did they know about our running with Sin already? Hey, sorry. They fucking telepathic or something? <laughs> cool. In return, come tournament time, I'll make sure we take the cup. Ooh. About the Crusaders, you can ask them yourself. They got a lodge in a village. They got any food there? We'll get you something over there later. Take a look around first. Bro, I know you're starving, but uh, <laughs> why don't you just <laughs> check out some of these houses for a moment instead, man? Just washed up on shore, had an encounter with Sin. Nah, you're fine. Just <laughs> talk to the townspeople for a bit. Huh? What's up? Remember the prayer, right? Uh, I don't remember. I didn't know it in the first place, to tell the truth. Man, that's like the basics of the basics. All right, I'll show you. It's a blitz ball thing. Yeah, that. Go ahead, you try. Hmm. Hmm. Not bad. Okay, now go present yourself to the temple summoner. Any blitzball player would know that prayer. It was the blitzball sign for victory. That's not weird at all, dude. Like, <laughs> imagine some random like NFL's players taunt that they do. Whenever they get a fucking goal, became a symbol of prayer throughout civilization. It's a little fucking weird, dude. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I think they take this sport a little too seriously. Uh, but my drink only has one drink left in it, and I need to pee. So we're going to take like a five minute break while I grab my other drink and uh, go do that. And then we'll be right back, guys. It was another horse game. I mentioned it whenever we got this game. But but we played it growing up, and it was all about, like, breeding horses and, and racing them and stuff like that. And it, I actually remember it being a lot of fun. So, like, there's a part of me that wants to believe this is going to be a, a fun game again, or, or as well, rather. Breeders' Cup World Thoroughbred Championship. That is a long name for a game. But, like, I, I just don't know. <laughs> like... There's so many terrible sports games, and this one seeming like it's a, a licensed sports game worries me more than it just being some random, random horse game that I played growing up. Oh no, we're playing this? I mean, look, it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing, Rue. It could end up being good. It's tagged as a sports game simulation driving racing game on Twitch. I mean, <laughs> I like racing games sometimes. And it's published by Bethesda. I like Bethesda and ZeniMax Studios. Like, they, they make some pretty decent stuff. You know, Elder Scrolls, Fallout, Doom. Uh, or no. Do they publish Doom? I don't remember if they publish Doom or someone else publishes Doom these days. Who publishes Doom? Who published Bethesda, yeah, okay. I thought it was Bethesda. Do they also publish Wolfenstein? Wolf 
Wolfenstein. Welcome. What is Wolfen? Wolfen. Stein. Also Bethesda, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, like, they do some good stuff. There's also this one that my brother loves, a uh, game that they published. I can't remember the name of it. I never played it, but it always looked really good. I guess it doesn't really help if I can't remember the name of it, though. Uh, it's like a, a stealth game, and your, your character gets powers and stuff. Published by Bethesda. <laughs> I can't remember it. I'd have to, like, look through my list of Twitch games, or Twitch games? Steam games or something to figure out. Uh, what it's called. Okay, there's just a quick race mode. I guess we should probably go into that one. It actually has a career mode, which I appreciate. Dishonored! Thanks, Nate. Good call, man. Yeah, no, Dishonored. That's the series. Uh, looks really good. Never played it. Another another series, though, published by Bethesda. Uh, yeah, no, I do like career modes in, in sports games, as far as my joy of sports games goes, which isn't very far. But, like, I appreciate having goals to work towards sports presumably the career mode you could also you know get better horses or or level up your jockey or something like that uh we'll just hop into a quick race though to get a feel for what the game is real quick track um clear water sure runners looks like six of the lowest so we'll go with that number of players one i'm the only person here right now so that's gonna have to be it oh god <laughs> uh I wonder, is it going to be like like a normal racing game? Do we just hold X to to zoom? <laughs> how does how does it work? I don't know. As long as we stop dog racing, I think we're okay on sports like this. Is there like, is there a lot of ill practices in, in dog racing or something like that? Honestly, I don't know anything about it. We had... Uh, we didn't own any horses, but, but my stepdad, when I was younger, helped train the horses, like take care of some horses. So like we did, we went to the races a fair bit for, for the horses. Um, and I think they may have done dog racing there as well, but I, I've never seen any of the races or anything about that. Don't really know anything about it either. Other than the fact that it's a thing. Dog racing equals bad. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Is there like, so it's just bad for the dogs, like physically or something like that, especially on greyhounds and whippets. They end up getting treated so poorly, and when they can't run anymore, they basically discard them. I mean, sadly, that's how it is for like horses too, right? A horse breaks its leg, and most of the time, that just like that's that's it for the horse. Like you take it out back, and uh, Looks like we're ready to go. no more horse, man. So how do we? Billy's machine. Shoots right to the front. How Just do we, how do we go faster? Dave Siren behind that. Irish nickel. Blessed night. I see Off I see a stamina star. gauge up there. The square. Oh. Foolish punch has taken the lead. Did, like triangle do Foolish something? Circle do something? Do we front. just hold X the whole time, and then steer? Oh, okay. If we push point, forward, it seems like it's telling them to punch. overtake. Followed by. Oh, okay. I see. And as they come around oh. the far turn, oh, 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 oh. okay, okay. Followed by foolish punch and Irish So nickel. we use the, the, the left stick foolish to not punch. only steer, but also to pick stretch. like what kind of what kind of uh, speed, whether we like hold back, try to keep up with the pack or Hey okay. There we go. Got my new drink, which means we can finish the old one. And I grabbed a little snack while I was downstairs too, so. Figured a little bit of food might help me wake up a little bit. Just something light, a little bit of oatmeal. Raw, of course, cause Cooked oatmeal is disgusting. All right, let's start uh, breaking into people's homes and seeing <laughs> what they got going on. Hello, child. Daddy doesn't play with me at all. That's rude. Odd clothes you got. One land you from? Is this your first time to Besaid? It most definitely is, my guy. If anything, I'd say you guys are wearing the odd clothes. 
No, honestly, we're all kind of odd, so fair. My favorite's Lord Olahan. Oh, oh, Holland? Um, uh, spinning image of me old hubby. Fiends are around even during the day. Take care not to travel alone, yeah? Can we steal from people? We can. Excellent. Love that. This is a shop, I'm guessing? Yeah, what do you got for sale? Do I even have money? Of course I do. Yeah, 689. I made a comment about that earlier. Oh, you can sell your spheres? I guess if you have, like, way too many of them or something, then why not? But is there a sort button? Probably have to do that from the main menu. Okay, well, I don't think we need anything from you right now. Wait a second. And that chest was right outside. Yeah, so we just, <laughs> we basically just stole from the shop then. Oh, oh. Since struck Besaid Village so many times, I lost count. After this house got hit, I guess the owner just let it be. So does that mean all of the stuff is ours now? <laughs> just right in front of this dude. No shame, man. Just stealing everything. 400 gil, a couple potions. Nice. A high potion. I like it. It's weird that it's grayed out, that section of the minimap. I thought after we explored it or something, it would have lit up, but guess not. You guys must be the Crusaders. Hello. Uh, I don't think I need a map right now. What is this? Oh, tutorials and stuff? No. Hey, you. You were attacked by Sin, right? Recently, was it? I think so. So, Sin can't be far, right? You're not hiding anything, are you? Why would I? If Sin's nearby, it'll attack the island for sure. But it hasn't. I wonder why. I'm sorry. I really don't know anything. To tell Same. the truth, I uh, don't even know what the Crusaders are. You're kidding, right? Sin, the toxin. Gotta tell him who we are. Yes, sir. The Crusaders are sworn to battle Sin. We have chapters throughout Spira, accepting all who wish to join our struggle. The hero Meehan formed the Crusaders 800 years ago as the Crimson Blades. Later, our ranks grew and we called ourselves the Crusaders. We've been fighting Sin ever since. What? You've been fighting 800 years and you still haven't beat it? Uh, uh, uh. Again, well, we've steered rude. Sin away from towns many times. <laughs> and that's all we can do. Nobody's ever been able to defeat it. Our mission as Crusaders is to protect the temples, towns, villages, and people of Spira. So, then whose job is it to defeat Sin? Is Sin's toxin really this bad, sir? It does seem rather bad. We could just tell you, but I think it better for you to try and remember. Go pray at the temple. Perhaps Yevon will help you regain your memory. Yeah, about that. I don't think that's going to work. We must go now. Everything is riding on our next, our last battle. Wait, what? But soon, we may be able to finally defeat Sin. We've oh, got shit, a plan. Dude. One that'll go down in Crusader history. Then why does it sound like a suicide mission, my guy? Can we interact with the kitties? Or are they kitties? I think they're, <laughs> I think they are. Traveled spirit looking for a land where nobody had heard of Sin. I, I gave up looking. I think it's for the best. Dude, you look a lot like uh, dude from Final Fantasy VII. I had to run in with Sin's toxins before too, you know? I'm a lot better now, but things were pretty bad for a while. Couldn't remember who I was or where I came from. Scary, yeah? Man, I nearly cried, and that's the truth. Seafaring is hard work. Gotta kick back sometimes. Get some R&R, &R, yeah? Appreciate the Crusaders' zeal, but they must heed the teachings. Hmm. <laughs> okay. You know, for as undangerous as the beginning of the game is, they sure do put a shit ton of save points around here, don't they? Anything else to loot or plunder? Oh, there's Waka. Hello. Go present yourself to the temple summoner before we eat, yeah? 
Bro, just give me like one apple or something, man. Like <laughs> you got you got them right there on the table. I could just snack on one of those on my way over. Anything, my guy. The village where I was born is no longer there, thanks to Sin. Mainlanders love the fabrics we weave here in Besaid. Long time around Besaid's weaving would be known as nothing but the best. Well, at least you guys got something to be proud of around here, because your Blitzball team ain't worth shit, apparently. The Besaid fabrics they make here are famous all over Spiro. If I buy cheap and sell high, I'll be rolling in Gil in no time. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, I guess. Nothing? Nothing. Completely empty. So many missed opportunities for hiding chests. But yet they put three in an old rundown house just outside of town. Hmm. Oh, Spear looking for a lamb. Oh, we talked to you before. Goodbye. Hello, children. Can't figure whether I'm going to join the Aurochs or the Crusaders. Why not both, my guy? Playing Blitzball should be a pretty good uh, exercise. Well, of course. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, look, they could have had, like, one in that old rundown house. They could have had one over to the side over here. And then, I don't know, one on the other side or something. Or in a different house. They could have spread it out a little bit. Reward me for exploring, damn it. That's all I'm saying. It was then, standing in that place. Mm hmm Go ahead. I began to realize how different go. this world was from my own. Why does this song sound so familiar? I think they may have reused this song from another game, or vice versa. I can't quite place it though. I'm wanting to say Kingdom Hearts, but... It's feeling pretty Kingdom Hearts-esque. The village was attacked by Sim when I was just a little kid, yeah? The village was burnt to ashes. I still have nightmares of that day. Don't bother people when they're praying. It's against the teachings. My bad, dude. Just trying to figure out more about your land here. Ten years have passed since Lord Brosca became High Summoner. And finally, we receive a statue for our temple. Well, what's a High Summoner? You done fucked up, kid. Uh, uh, I I got too close to Sin's uh, toxin. Uh, <laughs> Summoner who is high. It's funny hearing myself make the same excuse. <laughs> I just smoked a little too much, man. Funny. Started summoning some sad. really strange creatures. The summoners are practitioners of a sacred art, sworn to protect the people of Yevon. Only a chosen few become summoners, who call forth entities of great power, the Aeons. The Aeons hear our prayers and come down to us. They are the blessing of Yevon. So what he meant... ...was that we should respect some kind of great men, or something like that, I figured. Pray hard and the toxin will surely release its grip on you. Let's hope so, dude. I summoner Gandalf. 
You don't say. <laughs> Gave us your blessing. Give us your blessing and watch over my family. Favorites, Lord. Uh, yeah, we talked to you outside of town. Um, is there a specific door we're supposed to be going through? I curse Curtis. The fool said the Q word. What? What? <laughs> also, <laughs> hello, Rue. Quack, quiet? At work? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> Are you not allowed to say quiet at work? I'm so confused. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, I see. In relation to like customers or whatever. I gotcha. I'm following you now. I was thinking more along the lines of like telling someone to be quiet. You know what I mean? I know what you mean now. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> you don't want to do that at work, man. That's that's a surefire way to figure out that or not to figure out that what? Wait, let me set that free. It's like too quiet in here. That phrase? <laughs> it's quiet today. Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> Look, you weren't here earlier, so I give you a pass. My brain is not working today. It's firing on less cylinders than usual. I'm eating some oatmeal, hopefully to <laughs> help kickstart my brain a little bit. And I put a little bit too much sweetener in it, to be honest. So it's not as good as usual, but like, it's still pretty good though. Cinnamon yogurt. Um, I found this sweetener. It's a mix of cinnamon, vanilla, real maple syrup, not the fake maple syrup, and honey. All blended together. And uh, it's pretty good. It's not quite as mapley as I was hoping when I bought it, but still pretty good. Anyways, and then I put extra cinnamon in it because, yeah. Oh, and oatmeal. And then I didn't cook it. Just mixed it together. Because... <laughs> Even searching the scriptures of Yevon, I have found no cure for sin's toxin. May the blessing of Yevon guide you to health, friend. Okay. Well, I mean, I figured the big one in the middle would be the... Last one. The important one. Only sworn guardians may approach the Cloister of Trials. Oh, um, wait, and I'm fucked up. Who am I supposed to be praying at here? <laughs> Please let the orc score at least one goal. Just one, I beg of you. That's, <laughs> man, their local team sucks. Okay, I'm assuming we have to leave in that trick or something now. We're not. What? What am I doing wrong? I talked to everybody, did I not? Okay, can't interact with any of this or any of that. Can't interact with this statue. We've talked to you already, right? We have. We have. We talked to you. Nobody or nothing else in here. Maybe we just go back to Waka. Maybe we already triggered whatever we need to trigger here. And there's nobody in here. Okay. Mr. Waka, sir. I've gone to the temple. There was nobody home. <laughs> Please tell me what I need to do, sir, to get some food. <laughs> That's all I want in life right now. I've gone a thousand years with one meal. Was it this one? Is this Waka's? No. This is the tapestry place. Next one. You, your Waka's place. Hello. Sorry, man. No time for lunch yet. What? Take a nap. You look bush. My god, dude. 
All right, fine, whatever. I'll take a nap. <laughs> Seriously, though, why wouldn't he just let me eat before telling me to take a nap? Come on. You could at least go see how they are doing. It can't interfere. It's a rule. But it's been nearly... Is this something to do with the Crusaders? Is that what he's talking about? But it's been nearly... It's been nearly a day already. Perhaps you could go look for us. People are searching for him now. Thank you. Who cares whether he comes back or not? Well, that's fucking diet. rude, dude. Fine, let him. Oh, you? talking about our dad. Be able to tell him how much you I mean, I guess that's one way to make a kid care. <laughs> Waka? Dude, just steal an apple already. Just take it. He won't mind. I'm gonna starve to death before we even get to get to get to meet the high priest or encounter sin again or do anything really here yeah is something wrong the summoner hasn't returned from the trial huh well apprentice summoner really there's a room in there called the Cloister of Trials. Beyond is where the Apprentice Summoner prays. If the prayer is heard, the Apprentice becomes a fully fledged Summoner. Remember? Totally, uh, dude. So someone is in there somewhere. Kitty Trouble Games, thank out. you for the follow, right, dude. I got it. A day's already gone by. Is it particularly dangerous in there? Sometimes, yes. Why don't you go in and help? There's already guardians in there. Besides, it's forbidden. Hey, but just crashes happens? the party. What if the summoner dies? The precepts must be obeyed. Like I care. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Titus is so rude, man. No respect for Maybe. tradition. This wasn't such a good idea after all. Cloister of Trials. Those who seek to learn the Evan's secret arts are tested by the Cloister of Trials. Find the right way and you will be taken to the Chamber of the Faith. Examine objects with X to open the way. Strange glyph glows. Right, down, left, up. I'm guessing we just go around the room. Touch. Wait. Oh, never mind. I thought that was giving us a hint or something, like a pattern to touch them in. Nope. Must use a sphere to go any farther. Doesn't matter which sphere. Oh, glyph spheres. Open the way to the Chamber of the Faith. Destruction spheres open the way to hidden treasures. It seems that besaid spheres are also necessary. Well, I don't think we have any of any of those, right? Oh, there was one in it. Nice. You can carry only one sphere at a time. Okay. So door seems to be locked by an unseen force. See a sphere-shaped recess. Insert the sphere, dude. Let's go. So that seems pretty one-time use. At least opening the doors. That's definitely a spot for a destruction sphere. Okay. Okay. 
Maybe it's not one time use. Hold on. Oh, okay. We can touch these symbols, not the other symbols, but these symbols are okay. You. Oh, that's a Besaid one. Looks pretty destruction-y to me. All of the red and the broken, like, lines in the wall. Okay, so maybe this goes... over here, then. See a sphere-shaped recess. Insert. Is this your favorite numbered Final Fantasy? I, uh, haven't played it. <laughs> I mean, I've played it, but no, I've never beaten it. I've never gotten particularly far in it. So I don't have a strong opinion on it one way or the other, to be honest with you. But, yeah, I was going to say, I know Chocobo is very fond of it, though. So what did that do? Nothing? Can we take this one back out? We can. Okay. So what happens if we put this one in here? Hmm. Doesn't seem like anything. Okay. <laughs> Take sphere. I want to know if we put the regular gliss sphere in there. Does the wall do the same thing where like all the the sim uh, the symbols all the glyphs on the wall start moving around and whatnot again or ah it opened a door okay there's a destruction sphere now can we destroy this one or are these always just pedestals I think maybe those things always just hold spheres and don't actually, like, do anything. Which, in that case, we probably need to put the destruction sphere here to destroy this cracked wall-looking thing. Okay, not exactly what I thought was going to happen, but close enough. Controls are a little weird whenever the camera angle changes. You kind of get stuck going a direction. You can obtain hidden items by using destruction spheres. Yeah. We know. We know. Okay, so does that mean... Oh, that sphere is definitely unobtainable now. Do we put you... Uh, have we tried putting the Besaid Sphere up here? I'm still of the mind that the pedestal doesn't do anything, but I could very well be wrong. It's been way too long since I've played to remember. Yeah, no. This doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, turn. Put you here then. Very nice. Move the pedestal set with the sphere to the correct place. If you move it improperly, step on the shining glyph to return the pedestal to its original place. What's its correct place? Oh, just right in the middle of the room in this one. Right? It's got to be that symbol on the ground. How do we push? Just a little bit farther. There we go. Hey. 
Noodle, thank you for the five bits, love. Hey, it's okay. Only summoners, apprentice summoners, and their guardians can enter here. It's a tradition, very important. So what about you? Me? I'm a guardian. A guardian? What's with just shaking his head like that, dude? <laughs> like, whoa, whoa, ah. like, I don't know. <laughs> what do you Someone mean you don't know? Pilgrimage to pray at every temple in Spira. Guardians protect them. The guardian's in there now. One of them's got a sure fuse. And who knows what the other's thinking. Well, now that we've come this far, might as well go all the way. This is where we meet, okay, yeah, I was gonna say the, the bee dude and like the black haired chick, right? What are you doing? Yeah. Didn't think we'd be able to handle it. No, it's, uh, it's just. See, I told you she gets mad easy. Is the summoner all right? Who are you? I'm just a dude. Don't mind me. I'm not positive who I am at this point, man. Star of the Xanarkin Abes. That's all you need to know. Star of a Blitzball team that hasn't existed in a thousand years. voice was very echoey. Did they not get her into like a proper sound booth to record that line? <laughs> Man, was I surprised. And here I was thinking summoners were all old geezers. Shouldn't just assume about people like that, dude. They could be young geezers. Hey, over here. Where? Oh, hold on. Do you say anything? Oh no, I can't even go over there. Okay, fair enough. Where's over here, Waka? I'm blind, dude. You see this? I can't see anything. Ready. Okay. Pretty lights. And dragons. <laughs> Let's go. Or er, not dragon. Whatever the hell that thing is. I wonder if a summoner's ever had this go wrong. 
they do their first summon outside of the temple when <laughs> the beast just turns on them, starts attacking the townspeople. Everyone's way too nonchalant about this beast just appearing out of nowhere. I had never seen anything like it in my life. Sure, it was a little scary, but still, I could feel a strange kind of gentleness coming from it. Valefor. Valefor? I'm gonna say Valefor. I am fine with that. I remember that night we talked for the first time. I didn't know it then, but after that night, everything changed for everyone, for me. Let me introduce you to the team. <laughs> yeah, here, you've already been sent a thousand years so in the future. What do you team. mean? That's the night everything changed. His memory's mm. a little fuzzy, so don't mind him if he says anything odd. Come on, say hi. Marcus, very pushy, man. <laughs> Just. Uh, hi guys. Hello. So what's our goal? To do our best. Nope, we got a new goal now. Our new goal is victory! To win every match, defeat every opposing team, to bring the Crystal Cup back to our island. That's all we need to do to win. Easy, huh? Oh, yeah. For sure. Seem a little distracted, my guy. Supposed to be leading these guys to victory, not hitting up on the high summoner. You sure got the boys worked up, huh? Everyone's acting like we already won. Not that I can blame them, yeah? Hit the other team hard and make it easy on the goalkeeper, yeah? Sure, dude. As good a plan as any, as far as I'm aware. was really my fault to begin with. Oh. 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 It's good to see a Marty well liked by the so townspeople. Your help earlier? Huh? Uh, I'm sorry about that. Wasn't that wasn't I not supposed to guess I kind of overreacted. Oh no, I was overconfident. Um I saw that Aeon thing. That's amazing. Uh, really? Do you think I can become High Summoner? Lady Yuna, come play with me some more. So, tomorrow then. Tomorrow? We're going on the same boat, aren't we? Oh, really? We can... Talk more. Huh. You can tell me all about Xanarkand. She's cute, yeah? Don't get no ideas. No promises there, big guy. Hey, but what if she, like, comes on to me? That's not going to happen. If you get tired, let me know. I had a bed made for you. You mean the one we were sleeping in earlier? Stay <laughs> okay, old lady. Jeez. I don't think there's anything else we can do here, right? Can we go back and talk to that? Nope. Okay, well, walk up. <laughs> I guess so. Doesn't appear like there's anything else to do, my guy. Honestly, though, I thought Final Fantasy XII had a slow start when we were playing that a couple days ago, man. <laughs> this is like Kojima level of cutscenes here except for they're all short <laughs> for it to really be a Kojima game each cutscene needs to be about 20 minutes 
or so. Can we just leave and not go talk to her? Okay, no. <laughs> Force this back over here. Where's that boat? Everyone will find us if it doesn't come soon. You really sure this is okay? Would you take me to Xanarkand? Hey! You said you'd go with me! Oh, hey! I, uh... I thought Why is he fucking running in place, dude? He did? Yeah. Yeah, so you're coming with me. Hey, stop dreaming! You with a woman? You can't even catch a ball! What a dick. Oh, what's the matter? Gonna cry again? Cry, cry. That's the only thing you're good for. I hate you. Huh? What'd you say? You have to speak loudly. I hate you! Huh? That's the spirit. You can do it! I think the dude's got you. a couple. He's dead, okay? Dead. I think the dude's got a couple problems up in his head. <laughs> also, how did she knew we were from Xanarkin? I was surprised too, the first time I saw him. But no matter what he looks like, he isn't Chapu. You shouldn't have brought him here in the first place. Yeah, but he needed our help. Excuses again? Yeah, but... That's it. No more. Enough, Waka. Good luck, Noodle. It's just a peach. You clean it off and you bite it. I showed you how to eat one earlier. <laughs> it's, it's not hard, I promise. Well, the center of it's pretty hard. Don't bite that part, though. <laughs> uh, scary. So, who's Chapu? My little brother, Chapu. He looked like you. He's dead? He was with the Crusaders when they fought Sin last year. He didn't make it. I first heard on the day of the tournament. Oh, so that's why. Mm -hmm. I became mm -hmm. a guardian to fight sin, yeah? Revenge, then? That was the idea. But I'm more worried about a stupid game now than avenging my brother. Well, after the next tournament, I'll be a guardian full time. I know it kind of looks like I'm using you, but I'm not. Don't worry. I mean, I owe you a lot. You really helped me out, you know? What I mean is... Thanks, Waka. <laughs> Stop. You're embarrassing me. Bunch of fucking weirdos. <laughs> Oh, he had a bed for us in the Crusader's hut. Okay. I thought he meant, like, at his house or something. Although, I guess when we were in there, there was really only one bed. Could just throw us a futon down on the floor or something. No, we would have been alright. You don't like the skin? <laughs> How do you even notice hey, the skin? If you just bite into it... Like... Oh, my lord. This to me? Yeah, use it well. That's the sword you gave Chapu. Well, he never used it. Where's Yuna? We're taking the same boat as Yuna, right? Why do we gotta wait here? Yuna came to this village ten years ago, when the last calm started. The calm? Since then, 
She's been like a little sister to me and Lulu. But she had the talent. She became an apprentice. Now, today, she leaves as a summoner. This is our journey. We should leave together. But you mean Lulu's from this town too? <laughs> like, she's very different from the other women you in this really town, don't dude. Need all that luggage. Ah, uh, they're not really my things. Th they're gifts for the temples we're to visit. This isn't a vacation, you know. I guess. I guess you're right. It's a very fine fuzz, like. Unless you're sitting there licking it, I don't even know how you would notice on the peaches. Hey, okay. <laughs> so we finally get control again. <laughs> Now. Hey, why don't you try out that sword I gave you? Okay. Is this sword different in some way? No problem. Not too shabby. You kept up with him pretty well. Might make a good guardian someday. You see you too, Waka. You too, man. Maybe someday you can be a good guardian. <laughs> So I assume the point of this is to teach us about... No, maybe not. <laughs> like, I was thinking maybe it was going to show us how, like, flying creatures we can't hit with a sword. And then... Well, I guess that's pretty much it, but no. It, <laughs> it didn't do any of that. We just killed both in one hit. Alert shield. New equipment? Who uses shields? Can anybody use them? Or... Equip... Okay, so it just replaces our armor slots. We just have one weapon and one armor slot. Okay. Mode stoic. Hmm. Okay. Uh, can we put armor on Waka? Not the same kind of armor, at least. What about Lulu? Lou already has one, a bangle. So if we go to our items, hold on. And then equipment. Go ahead and sort it, that's fine. Okay, so we got blue for me, pink for Yuna, yellow for Waka, and then green would be Lulu. I, over time, that'll probably get more to be more second nature to me. So right now I'm gonna I'm gonna forget that. <laughs> it would be handy though to know at a glance what equipment is for which person. So other than the skin do you like it though, Noodle, or is it just the skin that you don't like? Or do you not like the whole thing rather? Watch this! Okay, different actions have or change the torn turn order. That makes sense. Told you, only magic can beat that. If you can't beat them down, you gotta use magic of an element they don't like. Magic element? Let's you ate it, but you don't like the skin. So you like the flesh then? Mean. Like the actual fruit is fine. We're just carrying around a fucking Moogle doll. Magic and fiends have properties called elements. There are four elements, fire, ice, lightning, and water. Fire and ice are opposed, as are lightning and water. Spells of ice work well against fire fiends. And ice fiends are weak against fire magic. You follow? I get fire and ice, but what about lightning and water? Lightning and water are opposed, just like fire and ice. This one here is a water fiend, which means... Use fire, no, uh, <laughs> thunder. We're happy you decided to bring a knife to cut the peach. You're so picky. Manosphere. 
Do we get... Is there any way we can influence what kind of spheres we get in this one? In the remake, when I was looking up, or the remaster, I saw there was, like, a way to force getting one kind or another. But is it like if we kill things with magic, we're more likely to get mana ones, whereas if we kill with swords, we're more likely to get strength ones or something? Let's or is it just going, completely man. random or maybe creature-based? Huh? Are you ready? <laughs> creature-based, okay. What's going on? It's called they respect Yuna, my guy. <laughs> They're just waiting for her to be ready. It's an ancient custom. People leaving the island pray here for a safe trip. Chapu didn't pray that day. Said he'd miss his boat. He got some OCD, my guy. <laughs> I don't I don't I mean, I guess in a world with magic and shit. It's a little bit easier to believe in this sort of stuff, but... Still that sounds pretty OCD to me, my guy. Save! Our favorite! At least this game saves quick. I'm happy about that. Some games take freaking forever, man. Wait, that's the way we're supposed to go. This is the way we came from, I think. So what's down? This isn't the way to the pier. That's a no. Okay. <laughs> go the only way we can then. Ooh. Ooh. How do we get up there? Wait. Something is written here. Kilika and Bicanel? Bicanel? I have no idea what the hell that means. Oh, dude, I thought this was a monster for a moment. <laughs> it's just this dude. Why are you being so scary, my guy? Chill. He wanted to like test our strength before we continue or something? I guess so. Uh, no point in doing that. Just attack. Okay, but we definitely do more damage than he does. Okay, even when he's doing that. Oh. Oh, shit. There we go. I see what was happening earlier with the, the trigger slash overdrive thing. Sword play is our overdrive. I'm just dumb. Do you respect That's us enough. now? What's with that guy? Kimari Ronso, of the Ronso tribe. He's learned the fiend's way of fighting. That's not what I meant. He's another Yuna's guardian. Huh? <laughs> Sometimes we don't understand him either. Kimari doesn't talk much anyway. Mm. But he has protected me since I was a child. Hmm. Hmm. Rod of Wisdom. Is that better than what we have? Put Yuna. Oh, sh oh, we got... Okay. <laughs> so, different variants of the same weapons? So, this one just has Sensor. This one has magic plus five, magic plus three, and sensor. So obviously we would want to do that one, right? Can we get a breakdown of like, Asuna status maybe. 
What is sensor? No. We cannot. Okay. Well, we'll figure that out as time goes, I imagine. Is there no way up there? I mean, there's gotta be. There's the, the save point that's hidden up there. Maybe that's something we can do later. Hmm. Well, that's pretty, dude. Say what you want. But land like this is a lot prettier than fucking Xanarkin was. I'd much rather see waterfalls and grass and trees and That's your department, right? whatnot true, than just a true, bunch of but, uh, tall copy and pasted buildings. Why don't we let our summoner show us what she's made of? Switching members during battle. Press L1 during battle to switch it to a character not currently being used. Just switch them in and they're ready to go. Okay. Switch with Yuna. Real battle. Let's see some style. Show us what your training has taught you, Yuna. Okay. Summoning Aeons. Use the summon command to have Yuna call an Aeon to aid her in battle. Only Yuna can summon Aeons. Use it when you need help against tough opponents. When a Aeons take damage, their HP decreases. Should their HP reach zero, they will leave battle and become unavail unavailable for a time. Aeons recover HP at save spheres. This just seems unfair, dude. Against a little bird creature? Uh, I mean, okay, big bird creature, but still. Pretty sure whacking him with a ball once or twice would be enough to scare him off. Black magic. Fire, thunder, blizzard, water. Sonic wings? Dodging its attacks is easier after inflicting darkness. Ah, uh, let's see what Sonic Wings does. We just blow some air at him. Are you weak to thunder by any chance? Okay, well, it did more than the uh, regular attack we did. But is that just because we're more powerful with magic? Yeah, I think so. Not a weakness, per se. What's our base attack do, though? 187. I mean, since you have your own MP pool, I guess we might as well use it up, right? Unless that also only recovers at save spheres. And maybe it would make sense to manage it a little bit. Ooh, they have overdrive too. Okay, energy rank. Goodbye, Noodle. Thank you for stopping in. Do we have to do anything with this one or is it just automatic? Okay, yeah, it just does its own thing. We don't have to fuck with it. Perfect. Get Rex, son. I'm not gonna forget you, you weirdo. And a bright ring for pink, so that's Yuna. We're getting everything for Yuna right now. Dark Ward, that's nice. Does darkness affect magic? I would think it would affect physical stuff more than magic, but maybe it's just accuracy, period. Wait. Skill? Why won't it let us attack? Is this another tutorial section? I think it's tutorializing again. Uh, who are we? Lulu? Yeah, you can magic it up a little bit, dude. And then... Switch you back out with Titus. Okay, so swords and stuff do work from a distance, or from 
from a distance. Of course they were from a distance. Uh, against flying creatures. I was worried we wouldn't be able to attack flying creatures, like, at all. What is your attack? Oh my god, for real? The, the little doll-looking thing goes over and just smacks them? That's perfect. Okay, darkness really sucks, man. To have, that is. This thing's missed every attack since we inflicted it. Which is really good for us, but really gonna suck if we ever get hit with it. Sure. Oh, no, we haven't actually tried it yet. I wonder how much of a difference it makes. 134? I think he was doing like 118 before. So, I mean, it's a difference. <laughs> it's not much of one, but it's, it's, it's a difference. I think it was a little bit easier with the three of us than it was the Aeon. Another Bright Ring. Literally everything is for Yuna. And they're the same. Okay. What is... See, it shows something down there. It's got that gray square and like a... a semi-transparent little circle on the mini-maps. There must be something down there. Yeah, I'm assuming it's just like we can come back to this island at some point and do more exploration, though. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Attack the dingo. Here's this Waka Condor. And Thunder. Too easy, dude. All the spheres. Let's take a look at the sphere grid, actually. Lulu. So these are all already locked, right? Or unlocked, right? Yeah. So we still know how to unlock the gates. So you only have one sphere level. But if we move to here... Then we should be able to... Manosphere? Nice. Okay. And then... Then we have one path you can follow. You have two. So we can move to here. And then unlock this one. And strength. I'm sure there's some way to really, like, maximize your potential here, but... Oh, we already have that. Okay, I thought I screwed up for a second. Jet Lucky by two points. Very nice. Is there one more? Yuna. Good old Yuna. You have no points, though. Okay. Leave... Wonder who our main party should be. I mean, you gotta have Titus in there, right? Because main protagonist and all that. And then having Yuna would be handy for the cures. And I like the idea of Lulu for the black magic. So I'm tempted to use those three. But for some reason, leaving Waka out of the group seems, uh, I don't know, it just it doesn't feel right. Feels like Waka needs to be in there, too. We can't just have a four-person party. Lady Yuna, don't forget me, okay? We'll miss Lady Yuna. Come back soon, yeah? You talk to the other townspeople? Knew this time would come someday. I knew. Well, yeah, obviously. They're really leaving. Here, a farewell gift from all of the village. 400 bucks. Thank you, dude. Oh, there are so many things I want to tell her. But seeing her there smiling, I just can't say them. Hey, you. The sea's crawling with fiends, so give this to Yuna, okay? Nice ether. Thanks, thanks.
<laughs> Poor Yuna, dude. All these people just following her around like that. It's kind of weird, dude. Damn, they really like this chick, don't they? Goodbye. I mean, I guess they probably see the summoners as like the savior of the world or saviors of the world or something, right? I can't remember if they've said or not, but I feel like they play a pretty big role in pushing back Sin or the hope to defeat Sin someday. There wasn't a more direct route you could take. <laughs> like... Bro, what the hell is wrong with you, dude? Why are you climbing on people? This is a bit of a weirdo, dude. It, <laughs> not gonna lie. Going. First to Kilika Island, then we change boats and Lika. hit Luka. For that, though, Yuna's gotta pray at the temple. I'll be guarding. We'll be praying for the Auroch's victory, too. So you come along, yeah? <sighs> great plan. Hey, it is a great plan. Don't look at me. We play some Blitzball while we're here? Nope. Uh, that's Yuna. Talking to her will probably advance. I what do you gotta say, Lulu? You are, or where you came from. Me neither, really. So apparently the place I came from was destroyed a thousand years ago. Wanna use the binoculars? Sure? Oh, well. <laughs> what happens if we say not really? Ah, uh, nothing. Just doesn't care. Anything to interact with? No chests or funny, funny bits? Hello, Mr. Captain, sir. Arrive in Killicub before nightfall. Go on, take a nap or something. Oh, what a great day. The breeze must feel wonderful. Can't, like, steal anything from you? No. Fine. Is this below deck? Yeah, so this is probably... Where the beds are. Oh, those fascinating clothes you're wearing. Thanks, you too, man. Yeah, filthy, filthy. This won't sell. All me names, not Kawaka. What? <laughs> Don't look like you got much money either. I've no business with you. Out of me way. Who do you think you are? Kawaka the twenty-third. Merchant extraordinaire. Awaka the who? Don't know me? Well, not many do. Not yet. The 23rd. So shit, your family probably goes all the way back to my time, man. Power room. <laughs> what the heck is that? That's, that's one way to power the ship. What is this place? 
got fucking oh, chocobos running in door? hamster wheels. Yeah, but why the big birds? What's so strange about chocobo power? Chocobos? Those are chocobos? What? You've never seen a chocobo? What kind of backwater island did you come from anyway? Hmm. Miracles and oddities were starting to become daily routine on this trip. Bruh. That is awesome, honestly. Can we interact with them? Aw, they squeak. That's cute, dude. That's really... <laughs> I guess that's one way to do it, man. Gets them exercise while you're out and about. Gives you power while you're on the ship. And once you land, you can hop on their back and get wherever you need to go. Honestly, it's a great system. Ugh, I've I gotten seasick. I think I'm gonna hurl. <laughs> Gross. Potion? Cool. Pretty sure we just stole that from someone, but... Seems real sick, yeah? Hiding over here, because I'm gonna get sick too if I keep watching him. That's fair. Um, hmm. I don't know who to talk to without progressing the story. First, I thought it would be Yuna, but now I'm feeling like it's those guys there. Especially after the captain told us to take a nap or something. So let's go back up and talk to Yuna. Or try to, if we can get through her entourage. Is that summoner's got noble blood? I don't heard say. she's Lord Braska's daughter. I don't know who don't that say. is. Lord Braska's daughter? Hmm. Summoner's confident smile is always a great encouragement to us. For both father and daughter to become summoner must have been Yevon's will. If anyone can defeat Sin, the daughter of Lord Braska can. Please take good care of yourself. Just remember that your well-being means a lot to us. Man, I wish we were half as popular as Yuna. <laughs> okay. I think that's pretty much it for there. Back down to talk to the dudes. The scary-looking crusader dudes. I wonder how they're holding up. If they're getting nervous before whatever the hell they're supposed to be doing here to take out Sin. I'm not at liberty to talk about our plan. Fair. Restricted area. Our operation depends on this cargo. Hmm. Okay. Like a bunch of explosives or something on this ship. All over Spear. Say, lad, you wouldn't have a bit of kill to lend. Oh God. How much gill should you lend him, <laughs> if any? Uh, I'm tempted to just give him, like, all of it, but it, I don't know, man. That could be a terrible idea. <laughs> um, shit, dude. Give him a thousand gil. It still leaves us with 700. That should be fine. Really gonna lend me a thousand gil? No sweat. I guess it pays to ask. Thank you kindly. That fine seed money for the Oaka Merchant Empire. You're welcome. Much obliged. Is that gonna is that gonna pay off in any way? I hope so, dude. Okay. Uh. So wait, what are we actually supposed to be doing then? Is this the room to take a nap in? I thought it was, but I can't seem to interact with anything here. They won't talk to me. That's just the power room down below. Maybe we just talk to Waka again. Also, where's Beastman at? I just realized we haven't seen him since we got on the ship. So, is Yuna's father famous or something? She's the daughter of High Summon Nebraska. You saw his statue at the temple. Lord Braska defeated Sin ten years ago. Yuna's the heir to a great legacy. It's tough. 
<sighs> when your father's famous. Huh? Walker's a bit lacking in the imagination department. Huh? <laughs> Thanks, Lulu. I'll keep that in mind. So wait, if he defeated Sin ten years ago, then why are we still deal dealing with it, man? <laughs> like... Wait, what what did he say? Gonna sharpen my hand skills? Oh shit. He's really bad at kicking, and I always end up having to practice with him. What can you do, yeah? Shit. I feel like we Where's might have been daughter? able to answer that in a more productive way. We'll get her to Kilika, we will. She does have a name, you know. Yuna. Hmm. Lady Yuna. Well then, we pray for Lady Yuna's safe passage. Wait, seriously? They didn't even know her name, man? They just knew her as Braska's daughter? Braska's daughter? That's fucking <laughs> rough, dude. I was half expecting him to put his arm around her. <laughs> Just the good old yawn and grab. The wind. It's nice. Mm. See, that laugh didn't sound too bad, man. It's almost like you take something out of context, and of course it's going to sound weird. You hear that from Waka? Hmm. Okay, Waka told her. Waka. Waka doesn't believe me at all. But I believe you. I've heard in Xanarkin, there is a great stadium, all lit up, even at night. Huh? Great Blitzball tournaments are held there, and the stands are always full. How do you know that? A man named Jack told me. He was my Oh, shit. <laughs> Jack. Jack. It could be a different jet. My father. His name is Jekt. <gasps> Amazing! No, no it's not. He's kind of a dick. You know, our meeting like this must be the blessing of Yevon. Sounds like him, but it can't be him. Why not? My old man, he died. Ten years ago, off the coast of Xanarkin. I'm sorry. He went out to sea for training one day, and never came back. And no one's seen him since then. Or he was also teleported a thousand years in the future. Why, that's the day that Jekt huh? came to Spira. But, uh... It's true, I first met Jekt. Ten years and three months ago. I remember that was the day my father left. The date fits, doesn't it? The... the <laughs> yeah, but how would he get here? You're Wait, here. what? <laughs> what the hell happened, Nate? <laughs> how did someone try to steal food through DoorDash? How would you steal food through DoorDash? Oh, do they like call corporate and claim they never got it or something? Is that what happened? Jesus fuck, dude. <laughs> I guess that's one reason why you might not want to have the vibration turned on. <laughs> Holy shit. Bro, Sin really doesn't like us, do they? Like, 
Everywhere we go, this dude chases us down. Customers or drivers? He's a driver, so I'm assuming he's talking about customers. Although I'm sure it happens on both ends. Sadly. Yeah, I was gonna ask, didn't you take a picture, Nate? Or did they like answer the door or something so you just didn't worry about it? This is about to be one bumpy ride, dude. Oh, you did take a photo and it has their address on it twice. <laughs> oh Lord, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> so, not very bright with their uh, attempt at stealing food, huh? Here we go again. Wait, do we get to play as Beast Man now? Or get to use Beast Man now? Yeah, okay. Uh, who Titus, okay. Then Yuna, you're... Yeah, I was going to say, physical is probably going to be trash. Absorb HP and MP from an enemy. Nice. Okay. Can we actually reach the boss? Aha, we can. Attack him. Or... Oh, out of range. I didn't see the message. I was like, or not? Can we attack the ropes <laughs> to stop us from getting, like, pulled under here? I'm assuming still going to be out of... Oh, wait. It said something. Attack with magic and walk as ball. Ah, oh, of course, of course, of course. Okay. Walk a... Attack. You... <laughs> just, just love throwing that blitz ball at him. Like, <laughs> how's a blitz ball really supposed to do damage? I'm gonna be some hard ass balls. Stealing goes both ways. Driver will go to pick up an order and unassigned before marking it picked up. Then another driver comes and wonders why the restaurant won't remake the order. Yeah, like I said, I'm not surprised, man. It's kind of crappy. I was talking with Nate about it the other night. I don't remember if it was on stream or off, but I kind of wish that. Uh, when we summon, it gets rid of everything. I should have known that. Anyways, I kind of wish more places just had their own delivery. Honestly. Like, don't get me wrong, man. DoorDash can be a godsend, and it's awesome for people that want to make a little bit of extra cash or, or even turn it into a full-time job for themselves, but you would probably have less of those issues with your own delivery service, you know what I mean? Like, I can't remember the last time, I can't, never actually have I ordered, say, pizza for delivery and had it get stolen or a piece missing or anything. Now, does that happen? 100%, man. But you hear about it so much more, I feel like, with DoorDash or Uber Eats or whatever the case may be. Sucks as it stays as a violation till I make 100 orders or clear. Wait, what? But like, I mean, I guess technically you could have taken the picture and then went back over and picked it up off their porch or something, but why would it stay a violation? That seems ridiculous, man. I'm assuming if we kill all three of these, they're just gonna come back, right? 
We might as well just focus all of our attacks on the boss. So other than being at risk of like losing your ability to, to drive for DoorDash, what else does a violation do? Does it like knock you down the likelihood of you getting orders or like what's the negative of having a violation other than again, of course, the possibility of losing uh, the ability to DoorDash. Sure, whatever. Just attack those guys, I guess. And switch out our white mage for the black mage. And then big guy should actually just about be done. Lulu. Black magic. Thunder. Big Oh, yeah. <laughs> he had three HP left. Shit. If I had known that, I would have just switched out beast man with Lulu. Got it over with. If multiple violations, they can deactivate you. Also, if they have any money that haven't... If they have any money they haven't paid you yet, they won't pay it. That is shitty, dude. I knew the, the deactivate part. That was pretty obvious. I didn't realize they would hold your money, though, in the meantime. That's crappy. Do you think you're going to be able to get it cleared, Nate? Wait, did the Crusaders go overboard with him? With the with the trebuchet? Not trebuchets. Oh, we did. Holy shit. Man, we really don't have any luck, do we? <laughs> Every time sent up here, we either get over, go overboard or get sucked into it or... And we're the only ones. Like, come on, dude. Wait, did they just use a potion outside of combat? That never happens in Final Fantasy games, man. Potions in Phoenix Downs just don't exist outside of combat. <laughs> oh, you look friendly. You look real friendly. Uh, and we don't have annoying. Okay. Um. Try to take out some of the scales. We don't have Luna anymore, so we don't have the ability to see how much health they have. Oh, he can heal health too, huh? Oh, and the scales. Yeah, the scales did come back, so no point in attacking them. Ignore the scales. I think. Wait, there's only three of them now. I don't know, whatever. Ignore them anyways. Just attack the big dude. Blender? That sounds bad. Try not to kill Waka. Okay, we're good. Uh, we can't switch out people. We have some high potions, though. On uh, Mr. Waka. And attack. Was that a crit? Now, I was hitting X a bunch. Does this have the thing where, like... I need to read the manual. If you, I know like in Final Fantasy VIII and in some of the, the Mario RPG games and whatnot, if you hit X at the right time or hit confirm at the right time during an attack, you get a, a crit or more damage or whatever. Does this have a feature like that or 
No, I think it was just happenstance. Okay. You're by me? I'm assuming you mean like by my house. Uh, we definitely need to heal. I'll tell you this. So much for not using much potions, man. I guess that's what happens when you don't have your white mage anymore. Oh, you drove past. Okay, I got you. I feel like there's got to be a more efficient way to take this thing out, dude. This fight is taking a while. Do we need to... I don't see how the attacking the scales would really help us in any way, though. If they're just going to regen. Was that it? He's shaking. Yeah, there we go, dude. Just had a lot of health. And collapse into a singularity. Awesome. <laughs> Holy shit, okay. Everybody got some levels. Ice Moomba and a blue shield. Um this doesn't look good. This really doesn't look good. Why, when sin exists, why would you build your village on the water, man? <laughs> like, I'd be building my village, like, in some cave somewhere or something. Be dwarfing it up. Finding some old mines to, to inhabit. Bruh. I mean, you could be. I don't know. I don't remember if I locked my door or not. Bro. Like, I feel bad for these people, but again, what were you thinking? Why, why do you have a village made of wood on the water? When you know Sin exists, and apparently attacks villages pretty regularly. Like, what are you thinking, my guys? When Sin attacks Anarkin that day, I woke up in Spira. I kept hoping it would work in reverse, too. I will defeat Sin. I must defeat Sin. I was just fooling myself. Maybe it was that day, on the sea, under the burning sun. I started to give up hope. <laughs> the fridge is pretty empty at the moment. World, Just uh, forewarning you, my guy. <laughs> this was my new reality, and I was stuck in it for good. Honestly, you seem to have more friends now than you did before. You were famous before, but nobody really seemed to care about you. At least now you have friends and people that, you know, want you to be well. <laughs> Don't just care how many points you make in a game. Summoner here, please allow me to perform the sending. Ah, thanks, BT. Our loved ones. We feared they would become fiends. Please take me to them. 
Ah, so like, is that how it works? If you come into contact with sin, most people become fiends? Maybe if you get like too much of sin's toxins or something like that? There's cabinets, bread and butter, a bee. <laughs> we do got that. We do got that. I think there's some crackers too on the uh, on the shelves. <laughs> Have yourself some. They're uh, Doritos jalapeno crackers. Not bad, honestly. Pretty tasty. Rather, honestly, this place looks pretty good considering what we just watched happen to it. Hey, you're alive. Wait. <laughs> What do you want? We're not open. Oh, well, okay. I'm assuming she thought we were somewhere else. Or someone else, which, fair. Uh, what's ascending? Are we going somewhere? You truly are clueless. Are you sure it's just your memory that's the problem? The dead need guidance. So it's just like a spirit they thing? Over their own death. They refuse okay. to face yeah, their yeah, yeah. fate. They yearn to live on and resent those still alive. You see, they envy the living. And in time, that envy turns to anger, even hate. Should these souls remain in Spira, they become fiends that prey on the living. Sad, isn't it? The sending takes them to the far plane where they may rest in peace. Summoners do this? Hmm. Still kills me that the freaking Blitzball sign for victory is <laughs> some holy prayer now. Yeah, if it weren't for all the people that just died, this would be a pretty, pretty moment. Pretty, pretty, yeah. <laughs> With the sun setting and the island and all the destruction kind of ruins it a little bit, though. I guess the dead finding their way to the afterlife has its own, own kind of beauty to it, though. Must be tough being a summoner. Yuna chose her own path. She knew from the beginning what it meant. All we can do is protect her along the way 
until the end. Until the end? What's the end? <sighs> until she defeats sin. Oh. I hope... I hope I did okay. <sighs> you did very well. They've reached the far plane by now, but no tears next time, mm -hmm. uh. I wished there would never be a next time. No more people being killed by sin. No more sendings for Yuna. Everyone stood there watching her. It was strange, and somehow horrifying. I never wanted to see it again. That's, yeah, pretty legit. Shit, where are we now? Okay. Decided to take a little nap, I suppose. Speaking of little naps, man, <laughs> I think with that, this seems like a pretty good place to call it. Just a little bit early, but I'm gonna be a blitz ball. Wait, what? I'm gonna be a blitz ball when I grow up. Not a blitz baller or a blitz ball player, but an actual blitz ball? <laughs> You're gonna be a ball? Or is <laughs> I'm so confused. This is my home and no matter how bad it gets, I ain't moving. Did you rest well? The others left some time ago. Anyways, as I was saying, it is just a, a tiny bit early for us to be getting off, but as I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, I am, for some reason, stupidly tired tonight. So I think it's probably a good place for, for me to call it so I can get a little bit of a nap in before uh, I have to go pick up Noodle and uh, do things for the rest of the night and whatnot. But we are going to be playing more Final Fantasy X next Monday and pretty much every Monday, Monday from now until we uh, finish the game. So if you guys want to see more of that, I do hope to see you then. I'll be back tomorrow's Tuesday. I'll be back uh, Thursday night with just some uh, random PS2 game. Possibly tomorrow night, but most likely Thursday night with some uh, random PS2 goodness as we continue the PS2 gauntlet. So I hope to see whoever can make it to that there as I struggle to find my words. <laughs> my lord. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you all again for coming out while we played uh, Final Fantasy X begun this journey. Until next time, have a good night, and as always, be kind to each other. <laughs> Goodbye, y'all. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm dying here. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I gotcha. What did Noodle say? I missed it, and then the race started. Is it sad I cut the felt for my craft and I don't want to do anything else? That's all the more you could handle for the night, just cutting? I mean, hey...